Hi everyone, we're going to talk about lesson number two in astronomy, galaxies. The big idea here is that there are billions of galaxies which ha each have billions of stars. So what we're going to start off with is how many stars are there in the Milky Way? Because the Milky Way galaxy which we reside in is a pretty large place. Now first of all, the sun is just one of an estimated 100 billion stars. Okay? It's just an estimated 100 billion stars. So there's around 100 billion stars in our Milky Way. That's a lot of stars. Now what that equates to is if you were to try to write write this if one star equals one grain of sand. All right? So each grain of sand is one star then the galaxy, the Milky Way galaxy in this case, is equivalent to a dump truck worth of sand. So that's a lot of sand. Alright, now, so we talked about, in this case right now, the Milky Way. How many galaxies are there in our universe then? Well, there are approximately estimated to be approximately 125 billion galaxies. And that means that if each galaxy, each galaxy has an estimated 100 billion stars, well, that's a lot of stars. How many stars, if we were to estimate? Well, if we punch in our calculator, 125 billion, which is this number, times 100 million, which is this number, we get approximately 3, 6, 9, 12, 15, 18, 18, 21, around 10, well, 1.25 times 10 to the 22 stars, which is a large, large number. How you can equate this is, that means, again, if one star is one grain of sand, what this means is it's equivalent to one dump truck driving past you every second, 24 hours a day, for three straight years. That's how many stars are predicted to be in our universe. And again, what you also need to know is that if each star equals 10 planets, that could be, in a sense, we have a lot of planets out there. So the next page right here, this is an image of not stars, but different galaxies in our universe, taken by, I believe it was the Hubble Space Telescope. And if you zoom into a specific region of space, you will see this image. This image is called the Pillars, the cr Pillars of Creation. It is a very special photograph taken by the Hubble Space Telescope. And it is what we call a nebula. So what is a nebula? A nebula is a lot of a lot of dust that is coming together to in a sense can form a star, it can form a galaxy, it could form many things. So that is what a nebula is. So it's actually very very large this image. It is absolutely gigantic. It's approximately 7,000 light years or so away from the earth and it actually can be in a sense, said to be a very, very monumental thing that we rarely ever see in this um, with if we didn't have the technology. So if we didn't have the technology, we wouldn't have been able to see this thing happen. So we're going to talk about the shapes of galaxy and then we're going to talk about star clusters. So what are shapes of galaxy? Now, galaxies can be classified into three shapes. They are what we call spiral, there's what we call elliptical, and there's what we call irregular. 
Spiraling is like a pinwheel. So if you want to draw it, it looks like this. It's like you have a pinwheel. Spiraling amongst a center point. And if I draw this properly, you can see it looks like a pinwheel. Okay. It's like a pinwheel. It's flat. And the center is where the oldest stars are. So that's the first type. Elliptical is, like as you notice, it's elliptical. It is the large galaxies. And it's the oldest stars in our universe. So it will contain the oldest stars. While irregular has no shape. And it's usually new galaxy. It's a newer galaxy. That's why it has no shape. And if you want to take a look, these are the three galaxies in image form. You have spiral, which are Milky Way. You have elliptical, which are large galaxies that have the oldest like stars. And you have irregular. One other important note is that elliptical galaxies are also not only really large, but mo half, about 50% of all galaxies are elliptical in our universe. So that is a big number. The last thing we talk about is what we call star clusters. Now what are star clusters? Well, it's a cluster of stars. But what is that important? Well, they are basically how stars, being so massive, have in a sense, gravitational pull with each other. So how can there be gravitational pull when they're so far apart? Okay, so there's two types. There's what we call globular, and there's something called open clusters. So globular. So globular are the around approximately a 1 million stars held together by gravity. So that is where it could be, for example, the center of a galaxy. It could be the where there's a bright spot of the galaxy. Those are called globulars. Well, open clusters are where there's less stars held together. And because of that, it's less bright, but there's still stars. And if you were to look at these two images down in the next page, you'll see this is a op uh, globular cluster. This is an open cluster. So this is the end of this lesson about the universe. Our next lesson is going to be about stars. As always, make sure you keep yourself safe and healthy, and I'll see you soon.